well, I'm our facts of Mars. And the liberals are saying that Donald Trump is keeping kids in cages. The problem is that the famous cages uh, pictures are from the Obama era, not from Trump's era. You can see two of them kept in a cage like animals. That was under Obama, not under Donald Trump. Several 2014 photos of detained immigrant children in cages went viral in May, and former Obama administration officials rushed to offer explanations. Former Obama speechwriter John Favreau even shared the images on Twitter, mistakenly believing they were taken during Donald Trump's presidency. Former officials doubled down on their criticism of Trump's immigration policies and said the 2014 photos showed unaccompanied children the government had been attempting to place with family members. Like keeping them, by keeping them in cages, like dogs. On June 17, reporters toured a similar government holding facility in McAllen, Texas, where migrant families are separated from one another and held in cages. Well, right we, uh, t here's, uh, more from 214. I got some pictures of, uh, the, uh, Trump ones, just in case you want to know. I don't know why this is our problem anyway. You know, don't we have enough planes? Can't we, uh, so, okay. You're here illegally, we'll take you right back to your country where you came from. It's their problem to deal with, it's not ours. That's why I see, I deport them immediately if they're up to me. And you see they're wrapped in aluminum foil. So let's take a look at Trump. One. Uh, the murals of Trump and... Sometimes losing badly, finding a new way to win the war. Children are allowed to leave the complex for only two hours each day. Many apparently have spent time inside watching Disney and animated film Mona and learning about U.S. history. Now, compared to that, to uh, the Obama ones who were kept in uh, kept like dogs. I wonder where they uh, did their business. Did they? Do their business in the cage, too? I mean, didn't they have toilets? Images of a detention center for immigrant children show the conditions in which nearly 1,500 boys are being sheltered in Brownsville, Texas. A small group of reporters, including MSNBC, the Washington Compost, were allowed to tour the facility on Wednesday. M MSNBC correspondent Jacob Soberoff reported his observations in some pictures of the facility in a lengthy Twitter thread that evening. Here are the pictures. Now they are in detention. They're not... I don't see any kids in cages being caged like dogs like they were under Obama. <laughs> I mean, they have access to computers, and they do murals, they're being taught English. But it's liberals on a mission, you know, he's showing you, uh, what's going on. And this is one, again, one of the Obama photos. They are in detention, There's, make no mistake about that. But it looks to me like they're not being kept in cages the way the kids under Obama were. That's like a dorm room, but they're not lying on the floor, they have beds to lie in. They're getting, they're probably eating better than they ever did in their home countries. They have phones. They're learning.
anything about U.S. history? Duh! So, screw the liberals. I'm tired of this. And here's what they're eating. Not sumptuous, but they're eating. And like you said, they're probably eating better than they ever did in their home country. Gee, they look so abused. <laughs> uh, looks like a bathroom. So, there you have it. Judge for yourself. I'm artifacts of Mars.